basically, uh, I, my career, you could split down the middle into two parts, about 22 years in politics, government, the White House, and about 22, 23 years in the public relations field. Uh, when I was in college, I had no idea that that would be my career, but it was. So I tell students all the time, keep an open mind. You may, you may graduate and end up doing something you weren't expecting to do. So, but I was blessed in my career. I got to do two tours of duty in the White House. The second one is a spokesperson for President Reagan. Uh, I originally went to Washington in 1969 as a press secretary to a congressman named George Herbert Walker Bush. Uh, and then the other half of my career, I was with five different public relations firms in three states. So I've had two separate careers almost, although public relations and politics and government are very much entwined, I would say. This is a photo of me in my office in the West Wing at the White House. Uh, I thought I had the best office in the White House because if you see this window behind me here, that looks right out on the North Lawn, which is in the driveway where visitors coming to see the president, they come right in, right there, right behind me. So all I had to, it was like from here to there. All I had to do was turn around. I was face to face with King Hussein or, you know, whoever, guests like that were, that were coming in to meet with the president. So it was a great wind on the world. Also, I could see all the reporters out on the lawn doing their stand-ups. So I knew what, who was doing what in terms of reporters. Uh, the one thing interesting about this photo and you, that really confirms it's in the 1980s is I have a manual typewriter there, not a computer. We hadn't gotten computers yet. It was about this time when we did get computers. And then now I'm having a third career as a professor at Sam Houston State University. They produced my play that I wrote, an adaptation of my book. They produced it here in the theater department. So I can add playwright now, too. I wrote a novel called Ruffled Flourishes and I drew on my experiences as a White House spokesman to write that book. It's fiction, it's a novel, but it's based on real experiences, and what it's about is, is how the press covers the presidency, at least how it was when I was there. And I could sum that up in one word, intent, and that's what it's all about. And also, it's, it's from a humorous standpoint, because I found that sometimes, even in the most tense moments at the White House, most serious situations, that sometimes a little humor would invade the moment, sometimes from reporters, and that really kind of would relieve the pressure to help you get through some of those moments. So that's what my book's all about. I would hope people would take basically several things away from it. One, it hopefully shows them how difficult the job of being a White House spokesperson is. It is extremely difficult. It's a very hard job, and I have the highest regard for anybody that does it for any president. Secondly, it shows you the how just working in the White House, how difficult the hours are, how long the hours are, therefore how hard it is to have any personal life other than the life of your job. Uh, it's very hard to have, to have any other time off when you're doing that work. And lastly, hopefully it shows that there are some comedic moments in the midst of the most tense situations that, that the public never sees. So hopefully those three things are what I would, I would hope the public would uh, take away from it.